brand new to Gran Turismo, we have a van. So it's Van Turismo. We've got a six-star roulette ticket, which you may get for absolutely nothing. Finally, engine swaps. What can you do and in what car right now? Hello everyone and welcome back to a Gran Turismo video. It's patch day. So first up, straight into the new cars that have been added to the game, straight into Brand Central Land, and we're going to Asia Pacific here. And the first car is in the Toyota dealership. If you do enjoy this video, as always, do give it a like and do subscribe to the channel. We go along here and we identify a van. Yes, another van has been added to Gran Turismo 7. Or should we say Van Turismo 7? Because that's what it feels like it's going towards. There are the colours for you. And a nice little rev from the van as well. Eh? It interrupted me speaking. Now, you can have some good fun races in the vans. Don't get me wrong. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people are not after the van in the game. They're after some brand new cars. Road cars or race cars. Speaking of which, then, we're going to go to the next one then. So, once again, we head to Brand Central. These were all located in Brand Central. Again, Asia Pacific. This time, we go into the Nissan dealership. Okay. Uh, and then we will click the showroom, which has a nice 370Z on it. Happy days, my car, my real life car. Uh, we carry on down here and we have another GTR in now. It is the premium edition T-Spec 2024 model. So I could be a brand new model. Uh, but even so, it's another GTR in the game. It's going back to Gran Turismo 1 Nostalgia Vibes. Let's listen. <laughs> So oh, there is the GTR. Now, what have we got? Three GTR road cars in now? I'd say Nostalgia Grand Turismo 1, where we had 400 Nissan Skylines. Feels like we're heading back in that direction. Finally, we're going to head back into that Brand Central once again for the final car introduced in Grand Turismo 7 in this latest patch. Uh, we're going to head down to Mitsubishi Motors. And in Mitsubishi Motors, we're going to click that showroom. And literally, the second one along is Lancer Evolution 8 MRGSR. So another Evo in the game. Uh, quite an old school one, this one. One of childhood memories, that is for sure. Four colours. I'm going to pick red. Let's have a listen to this car then. And let's see what it sounds like. It sounds good, to be honest with you. Uh, and I fully expect this to be in some form of rally circuit. I will see what else is in this patch. But it looks nice. It's a good car. This is a nice addition, in my opinion. Right, we go to the cafe menu then because we have some new menu books. Well, in fact, we have one new menu book. As we go to the very end there, we have the Evolution meeting, which, of course, means Lancer Evolution. Um, you have three tracks there. So you got Yamagura plus Miyabi in reverse. Interesting circuit. Monza and Colorado Springs Lake. So definitely a rally version of that. Also going into the extra menus then, we have the Audi selection there. So you can pick the new menu there. Six-star roulette tickets. You've got all three cars. A free six-star roulette ticket. Chance of probably a million credits in there. Some of you may get that. So a free million credits for you. What we're going to do next then is jump into the new event. So we want to look at the Evo ones that are available. We're going to look at the other ones that have been added. First up, you're going to go into Europe and you're going to go into St. Croissant. Yes, St. Croix. It's right there. Uh, and what we are looking for here is the Nissan GTR Cup. So Gran Turismo, do know the track exists. You can see that right here. Uh, and you are going to race in a Nissan GTR around layout A there. Interestingly, I actually quite like layout A, if I'm brutally honest with you. We're back to the world circuit selection then. We're heading into Asia Pacific. And we're going to go to Tokyo because the nostalgic Sunday Cup has an additional round. Yes, all the way to the very end here. And we've got one right there for you. So it's around centre clockwise. And they're the rival cars, which you will be used to in Sunday Cup now if you do do the offline events. There it is. Nice and easy for you. What we're going to do next then is jump into some Sophie tracks. So they've added two new Sophie tracks here. We've got Brands Hatch first of all. So you go into Brands Hatch, you go into that quick race with Sophie uh, and the Grand Prix circuit is available. Not the Indy circuit. You can see that with that logo down on the Grand Prix circuit. That's what you're looking for. If we're back to World Circuits then, we go back into Europe and what we're going to do is head over to Dragon Trail. We've seen lots of Dragon Trail Seaside in terms of Sophie. It's the first time we can do it now. It's at Seaside there and you can see that down in the bottom left hand side with the logo. Not on any of the layouts though, so just keep that in mind. Hopefully more and more come and it's only in a uh, PlayStation 5 
version of the game, not PlayStation 4, just to clarify that. We're going into GT Auto then for some engine swaps. Um, we're in the van at the moment, which the brand new van gets a brand new engine swap. Now, I've seen Mr. MCA with a 1,200 horsepower van. Yes, indeed. It does exist, apparently. Uh, there are They are all the engine swaps that are currently available. Lots now added into the game in terms of those there. So uh, go and have a play if you do do those. Uh, but we are going to engine swap this. And I'll say 1,200 horsepower is possible in this van. Let's do an engine swap. I do love the edge swap <laughs> animations. It's one of the best things in the game, to be honest with you. Uh, in terms of, I like the little things. I do like the little things. Now, critically, they've changed the physics simulation model a bit more again. Now, it looks like they've adjusted the way the weight moves in the cars, which is good because it was a bit extreme again, if I'm brutally honest with you, and it did impact controller players. Uh, they've also changed ABS behavior, so I have no idea whether my old ABS video is relevant anymore. I'll have to do some testing. In terms of this, though, this one is a bit of an interesting one that I do want to talk about, okay? So, a lot of people have been complaining about force feedback on the Fanatec wheels. Now, for me personally, I use a very low force feedback, so it doesn't impact me that much. However, they've added this in here, where in low torque mode, the force feedback will be weaker. Please adjust the setting in custom setup to this as follows, and all these options. I disagree with this completely. I really do. No player should have to make major adjustments like that in in terms of their wheel if the game the game should adjust it for you to those values i don't understand why they're telling the player to do this now if you don't look at the patch update notes how on earth are you going to know this you're not so i really do disagree with this i'm just putting that out there right now that that needs to be a fix in the game in terms of how the game communicates with the wheel and it automatically sorts all that stuff out that's all I'm going to put out there with that one. I do disagree with this, and they do need to change it. In terms of this patch, then, is it any good? Is it bad? In my opinion, it's a bit of a meh patch. Uh, a van that you can have the odd fun race with, if I'm brutally honest with you. Uh, another GTR, which we didn't really need. Uh, and an Evo, which we'll probably use every now and then. Now, the GTR is the new time trial, so do expect to see that video later today, or whenever you watch this video, if it's after Thursday. Uh, the time trial guide will already be out. Now, I want to see next week, Gran Turismo, I'm calling you out on this. I want to see the Evo used in a time trial. I want to see it used. Because if you've just added the Evo and then we don't use it in anything, it's pretty pointless. So please, let's get the Evo in a time trial or in a daily race, actually, and get the van used as well. So we at least experience this in an online environment. That would be cool. Because that's what we miss when you add new cars, new road cars. You don't use them and then they get lost in the never region and we never see them again. And then it just makes your work pointless. And we just go, oh, good. Well, we forgot about that car. Never existed, apparently. Uh, but even so, I would love to see that in a time trial. Or in a daily race, as I say. Daily race, that would be good with a van, maybe. I have no idea. That's my opinion on this patch, Jen. It's a bit meh, in my opinion. They definitely need to make some adjustments there, in terms of the controller thing, especially. Uh, and I will be testing out the new physics model. If you enjoyed this video, as always, do give it a like and do subscribe to the channel. Stay in touch with all the latest content. I appreciate all the support. You've been absolutely banging. Honestly, I love the support. It's unbelievable. And I will keep trying to produce as much content as I can for you. And good content as well. That's my goal, is good quality content. Do videos there to check out. Logs there to subscribe. And do check out the partners down below. A big thank you once again for watching. And I hope to see you in another video or live stream again very soon.